Welcome back to another Roland TR8S tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you the undo function from the firmware update 2.0. Now, undo allows you to go back to the condition the TR8S was in at your last save point. To save, the quickest way is to hold shift and press right. This will bring up the overwrite menu, which allows you to overwrite both the pattern, which is the sequencing, and the kit, which is the sound and things you've done to the sounds. You can overwrite both of those by simply hitting overwrite and then OK. Now you've saved both pattern and kit. OK, with that known and with the save known, here are your undo options. Your undo button will be utility and the Functions you can undo are pattern, where you can undo everything you've done in the entire pattern and bring it right back to your save point. I find this very helpful if you like to use instrument play to play in multiple keys, either finger drumming and the pattern just completely didn't work. You could quickly go back by simply hitting utility and pattern select. That'll bring you back to how you were before so you could try again without going through the motion of deleting all the steps. Undo function two, holding utility and pressing an individual variation. You can see those will get reloaded back to the original save, just like the pattern, but not the entire thing. This I find useful if you do the same thing in instrument play, but you messed up on one variation, you just want to clear it and give it a try the next time around. It doesn't interrupt your workflow and you can keep it going. Undo number three, utility and the instrument track button that will undo the track any sequencing done for that instrument it'll bring it back to the last save point next is undo instrument which will reload all your knob positions right back to how they were before this is handy if you're doing it in performance and you are tweaking different parameters and getting a build up, say opening up things, doing whatever you're doing, mixing your knobs way up, 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 and you want to get everything right back to how it was, utility and instrument will bring it all right back to where you were. Very handy. It does not save, though, the new position. So if you were to, say, just tune it up and leave it there and be playing and then try and mess with it, that reload's going to bring it back to a save point, not to the last point you had it, to the last save point. Okay, after that, you have your knobs where you can undo and bring these back to the last save point, each one individually. So, again, if you're turning a specific knob and you want to snap it back to zero, like tune, very good to do that and just give it a very little twist and back to zero. And the final one if you want to clear all knobs on all tracks because you've been tweaking everything and you're not happy with the sound, utility and kit. And that will reset the entire 33 knobs. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. You know to go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell if you want to see more. And as always, thanks for watching.